gonna get out of the city for a little bit. and climbing. I think this is the Banks Campground the Shelf Road. There's my little office set up today and my co-worker and my climbing partner Steve, his van. He's out on a run right now because he's training for a marathon. <laughs> Climbing. Where are we going climbing? Shelf Road. Where's Shelf Road? The desert. <laughs> in Colorado. Colorado near Canyon City. And we have Crag Dog. Hey right, Steve, what are we getting on? I'm getting on a climb called Sleeper. Sleeper. Yes. 5-8 warm up. Right up this line here. And then the anchors are way up there. Should be good. Beautiful day. Obviously very crowded. So many folks. So many dogs. Tons of people here. Very loud. crazy hair. I don't know what's going on with this, but uh, had a really good day yesterday here at Shelf Road, climbing with my friend Steve, and um, did a bunch of really fun routes. Led one, um, a really, really easy one, but I'm pretty afraid of heights. It's like one of my top fears, so I was proud of myself for doing it, and um, had to call it quits kind of, you know, midday, because my body was feeling weird um, and not very good, so anyway, called it quits. And like chilled out in a hammock, hydrated, was feeling better, then was feeling way worse, so made an emergency trip into town to grab some painkillers and stuff. Um, and then, you know, just chilling, trying to feel better. This morning I wake up and like my stomach is cramping, the weird symptoms from yesterday are still there, um, my nose is stuffed up with like blood. And my left knee doesn't want me to put any weight in it. So, kind of struggle busting so far today. Hopefully a morning tea and walkabout will make all those issues go away. And I can climb and have another great day here before I go back to Denver. Okay, so, um, was feeling bad, then feeling better, then feeling bad, then it rained. And we were just kind of cozying up in the vans for a little while. And now the sunshine is back out. The skies are blue, I'm feeling pretty good, and so we're going to go climb a little bit. Alright Steve, what are we getting on? Some rocks. Oh, you don't say. We're going to go up this crack here in the middle, and it's a 5.8 called? Uh, beach ball, I Beach think. ball. Called beach ball, we think. We think. Looks Nothing like fun. This whole area is gorgeous. There's a lot of routes. The views are phenomenal from the ground. I'm sure they're going to be even better from up top. And we have our whiny supervisor. All right, so made it to the top, and the view is unbelievable. 
Thank you so much to Steve and Lisa. Oh. We're getting on an 11A uh -huh. called Muscle Beach. Uh -huh. I don't know if I can climb it, Kay. but we're going to get pumped up for the <laughs> climb because it's going to be hard. A dance for getting pumped up. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> ready. All right, let's do it. All right. It, it looks like it's going to be fun, but it's an 11, so it's going to be hard yeah, somewhere. Yeah. We'll I, find out. They're always harder than they look. Yeah, we're going to find out. Well, he did it. It was very successful, pretty sustained. He's gonna come down and I'm gonna give it a shot now. All right, well, hardest route of the day of the trip and I made it. I didn't think I would. I took a lot of breaks. Lisa barked and that made me have to break a little bit more, but fucking did it. Okay, now I'm gonna lead this seven up this crack behind me. This will be my second lead of the weekend or week. <laughs> and probably third lead outdoor ever. Okay, I made it. I let the thing. It was easy enough, but I wouldn't have been scared at all if I weren't leading it. But it was. Okay. Alright, so Steve just went up a 10C that I'm not going to follow. And I'm pretty satisfied with the day, with the trip in general, so I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. And um, we've kind of had a little bit of everything today. We, went, we started out with kind of warm clouds when I first woke up, and then it got really cold and rainy and windy, and then the sun came back out and it was blue skies. And so we've had a little bit of everything from like hot and sunny and tank tops to like, I currently have like my sweater and my puffy on and I'm a little chilly and it's starting to rain a little bit, but a little bit of everything. That's what you gotta expect, Colorado springtime. start the drive back to Denver. It started to rain and get these little like snowball looking snows. So hopefully the weather isn't too bad. It's supposed to rain and snow tonight, but I'm hoping that that's not supposed to start until later. So we shall see. And my phone is not pulling up directions to get back to Denver. So hopefully I remember. So wish us luck. This is such a pretty view down the dirt road from shelf road. Driving out of the desert, dry sunny desert, and into snow. Well, we made it back to Denver. Um, the road conditions definitely made the drive a little bit slower once we got into like Colorado Springs-ish. Um, but we made it to my friend's house and had a lazy dinner, and now I have a headache, and my body feels weird, and I'm going to try and sleep it off, and I'm really grateful that we have a house to be in um, again, uh, because it is snowing outside, and it's cold, and I can't drive in the snow, so yeah, it was a really good trip, and I'm really glad that we went, and stay tuned for the next video. Who knows what it's going to be about? Maybe food. I think I want to do a video on like what and how I eat, so if you guys are interested in that, uh, let me know. Leave me some questions or something to answer in the comments. Otherwise, come follow us everywhere under Honeycomb Coaching. Um, come check out my new website, hollycpriestley.com. And if you want to support our adventures, uh, become a patron subscriber. See you soon. <laughs>